Hi everyone. So, what blindness acronyms would you like me to define? Hi everyone. I, first of all, am blind and can't see in the viewfinder, so sorry not sorry if you can't see my face. I'm at Starbucks. I haven't done one of these for a long time, but I'm here to call me a do this. I hope you can hear me. This shouldn't necessarily be too long of a video. I'm just putting this question to you. What blindness acronyms would you like me to define? A YouTuber I watched recently did a YouTuber I watch recently did a video where she just defined a bunch of vocabulary words in the community where she kind of specializes, I guess, and defines some abbreviations and it made me think, maybe I should do something similar about blindness. Then when I was reading Twitter this morning and I saw this this thing that because of who tweeted it, I was like, ooh, I want to know about this. But they used an acronym. I had no idea what it meant. And then I opened the article that they were tweeting. It was one of those tweets where they wrote the tweet and then had a link to an article. So I double tapped on or clicked on the link to the article and what came up was a headline you know get on the T I'm like what's the T it's just the letter T I'm like what the hell's the T and then NBTA or some kind of acronym or something I'm like what the hell is that so I had to go through quite a bit of the article before I realized it had something to do with Massachusetts transportation I'm like, okay, some people don't live in Massachusetts and don't take that and have no idea what in the world you're talking about. And I think it was that that really prompted me to get serious about defining acronyms. I mean, I get it. We live in a world full of acronyms. I did, I did a video about this back in... Uh, a lot of acronyms are in the world this, <laughs> in this day and age. But there's plenty of people who hear an acronym and they're like, like I remember the time, the first time I watched a commercial for, I didn't watch it, the commercial came on for, um, what do they call it, HVR. It was like, HBR, you either love it or you really love it. I'm like, okay, what is HBR? I was looking at it at the context of, it must be some kind of drink. Because, again, I the first exposure I had gotten to the acronym HBR was um, this TSA agent commercial where it said, where the, the TSA guy said, okay, is this yours? The lady goes, Yeah. He goes, he says, okay, that's like more than 4.5 ounces or whatever it is. You, you gotta, you gotta toss that. And she just puts it up to her mouth and she just. I used the wrong drink to demonstrate that. Not that you can necessarily see what I'm doing, but. Um, he says that bottle is more than, what, 4.5 ounces or whatever's allowed. You gotta, you gotta toss that. She just puts it to her mouth and starts chugging. She just... The TSA guy goes, or you could just stand here and drink it right now. <laughs> so, and then, then they say HBR, you either love it or you really love it. And I'm like, okay, that's got to be a drink. So I went on Amazon to see if I could, you know, like I was pretending to shop for it. Maybe I would buy it, maybe I wouldn't. But I was like, okay, what is HBR? Is it some kind of sports drink? Is it some kind of, what is it? You know what it is? <laughs> Freaking Hidden Valley Ranch. I'm like, okay, uh, I remember when that used to be outright called Hidden Valley Ranch. 
And when did it become HVR? <laughs> Um, so I get it, we use acronyms, but there's plenty of acronyms that are used that not everyone knows what they're talking about, and if you're new to the blindness game, if you just had a life-changing experience that caused your eyes to dis to... Well, your eyes didn't disappear, but its function disappeared. Or you just went to the doctor and said, you know, I am having a hard time seeing. And the doctor said, you have this eye condition, and there's really nothing I can do. I can prescribe you glasses, but they're not going to collect it as much as you're in. You're irreversibly legally blind. You... are in shock and then you pull yourself together and realize, okay, my life doesn't have to be over. Hopefully you'll be inspired by some people who are blind. Me or others, I, I'm not going to say I'm the be all and end all of all blindness, anything. But um, you, you decide that you're not going to let this blindness end your life or end your productivity. So you get into the blindness world. You might hear some acronyms. You're like, all right, what the hell does that mean? If you're faced with that, if you're being faced with that, if you've heard acronyms in the context of blindness and you have no idea what that means, leave them in the context, leave them in the context below. Leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to put, the, put them on the list. I haven't even started the list yet, but I do have a few ideas of acronyms just based on what I have, you know, what I know about. And if you have heard others, I'm happy to put that on the list and define that. So if you have any blindness related acronyms that you're like, what the hell does that mean? Put them in the contents, put them in the, why is the sentence, put it in the comments below, so hard for me to say. Put them in the comments below and stay tuned. One of these videos, I will come back and define those. Now, after spending seven minutes saying what should have taken me two, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Uh, follow me on Twitter or if you really want to, Facebook. Um, I'm not really great about posting in either, but I like Twitter better. Check out the description box for an awesome service for blind people called Ira and for a couple of petitions that I'm promoting. I didn't write either one of them, but I believe in them. And I signed them, and if you believe in them, I hope you'll sign them too. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.